and tough Gambia Homes is back with a bang as the company is set to unveil new opportunities for young Gambians. I see to cater reports. For the leading property developer in the Gambia, Tough Africa Homes gathered business partners from across the world to talk business. Tough um, uh, Africa, it's um, known for real estate development, but um, I'm an entrepreneur and I, my success was all out of the Gambia. I started um, working some 40 years ago and then started my business about um, 27 years ago. And I've reached an age where I think we have made significant development in, in, in entrepreneurship and I want to give back. I want to connect as many people as possible. I would love to help and mentor young Gambian entrepreneurs so they can be much more even successful than myself. As the pioneer of private real estate in the Gambia, the company remains one of the leading property developers in Africa, operating in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria, Uganda and Mozambique. The event which brought together key investors from Senegal, Nigeria, Switzerland and the UK was meant to give them the rare opportunity to network, share experiences, thus build partnership between Gambia and the outside world. It is very encouraging to see successful African businessmen receiving the kind of support from the country in general. We pray and hope that this will expand and spill over to all other Africans and give younger people like he mentioned his company is using a boater made by a young Gambian lady. And I think that's an encouragement in itself, and we should be proud of that. It was a great moment for key local entrepreneurs as they prepare to network and expand their businesses. It's a tremendous opportunity um, to bring together all these professionals, entrepreneurs, as well as um, some international agencies to come together. Um, I think um, the more we have these to network, and get to discover what we can do together, the more and the better we can do. Um, as you would know, Tuff has been doing some great things, not only in the Gambia, but all over Africa, and particularly in Nigeria. I think he has a lot of goodwill, has a lot of experience, and is willing to share. So we congratulate him on that, and we certainly embrace that. We hope that others will emulate, so that this becomes a natural, national feature in uh, this country, where we have occasions where people from different walks of life would meet, um, discuss, and really come out with tangible results. As the Gamba marches forward under a new administration, such platforms open greater opportunities for businesses. The CEO of Tough Africa Home says there is more for Gambians to benefit. I'm about to set up my foundation. Um, I think by December, inshallah, we are going to set up our foundation. Uh, we're trying to raise funds um, uh, where we'll be helping small businesses. Um, uh, we will be mentoring young people um, and, um, you know, and work more like a social entrepreneur than an entrepreneur who only sees profit, you know, and profit making in business. We want to be more socially responsible and play our role as government. With this forum described as a one-off event in the country, the leading property development company is set to realize its objective in Africa using its slogan, Our experience is global, our focus is Africa. For GRTS News, this is Isa Tukaita.